Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Thursday, February 7th, and I'm Andre Valverde. On February 8th, 1910, the Boy Scouts of America was founded by William D. Boyce. According to NationalDayCalendar.com, Boyce was in London when he became lost in a fog and a lone Boy Scout in England helped him find his way. Refusing payment and explaining that he was just doing his good turn. Inspired by the incident, on Boyce's return from London, he founded the Boy Scouts of America, followed by the Girl Scouts in 1912. Since then, many notable people have been part of both organizations, including Neil Armstrong, Taylor Swift, and Queen Elizabeth, who was a Girl Scout in England. In honor of the 109th anniversary of the founding, you may see Scouts wearing their Class A uniforms in school tomorrow. A 20-year-old college student was sentenced to one year in prison for taking an illegal picture of a U.S. defense intelligence facility in Florida. According to CNN, Zhao Quan Li pled guilty to taking the photo and was given the maximum sentence by the federal judge. Zhao Quan Li went around the facility's perimeter and took multiple pictures of, quote-unquote, the farm, which is the area that contains satellite dishes and antennas. According to the court documents, the primary installation fence line contained multiple signs that stated the farm was a restricted area and keep out, as did a secondary fence line around the farm. Anyone interested in trying out for varsity or JV girls lacrosse in the spring should attend the meeting next Monday after school in room 713. Please see coaches Hill or Mrs. DeThorne with any questions. Yearbook is now collecting pictures for the senior then and now section. This is your chance to recreate that group photo from your younger years. Both pictures and the names of the students in the photo should be of seniors only and be emailed to Ms. Jasinski by February 15th. Check your school email for more details. Shakespeare Society will be selling sonnets for the annual Send a Sonnet this week during lunch. The sonnets will be to sold today, tomorrow, and Monday, and the prices are one for $2, two for $4, and three for $5. The sonnets will be delivered to a person of your choosing on Valentine's Day. Dodgeball will host its 11th annual tournament on March 1st from 5 to 8.30 p.m. in the West Gym. The teams consist of 10 people and teams must have 4 males, 4 females, and 2 current faculty members or coaches district-wide. There is a $60 entry fee per team, due to Coach Relier by February 15th. The tournament is double elimination. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Andre Valverde. Today is a B-Day. Have a great day.